Hollywood gives Obama pat on the back, puts him on new Netflix show are the media and entertainment industries one-sided. Maybe we should ask David Letterman. The 70-year-old irritatingly liberal former host of The Late Show has been absent from television since he handed the reins of the CBS program to the even more irritating and even more liberal Stephen Colbert, but now the elderly comedian is making a comeback and he's dragging Barack Obama out of retirement with him. Letterman has inked a deal with Netflix for an online talk show, but his choice of Obama as the first guest has many observers wondering if America even cares anymore about either man. According to a promotional video released on Friday, an interview with Obama will be featured on the debut episode of Letterman's new My Next Guest Needs No Introduction Netflix exclusive talk show, set to drop on January 12, explained Independent Journal Review. According to Netflix, each episode will center around one extraordinary figure whom Dave finds fascinating and will highlight intimate, in-depth and far-reaching conversations continued the report. Apparently extraordinary means has beings who no longer have much influence, but then again, that could easily describe Letterman himself. The deadpan comic has made the bizarre choice to look as old as possible and has recently sported a white beard and disheveled appearance that looks like it came from a homeless shelter. Barack Obama's appearance as the first guest provided a hint of the leftist agenda for Dave's oh-so-relevant show. The other confirmed guests seem to have one thing in common, five of the six are all smug, over-the-hill leftists. Other A-list celebrities set to appear this season include Tina Fey, Jay-Z, Nobel Prize-winning activist Malala Yousafzai, Howard Stern, and George Clooney reported IJR. Watching washed-up Democrats compliment and swoon over each other sounds like a rip-roaring time, if your idea of hip involves breaking one. With the exception of Yousafzai, the average age of Letterman and his guests is bordering on geriatric. Of course, David Letterman can interview whoever he wants. That's between him and Netflix, but you would think having an actual audience should fit somewhere in the equation. That's the real mystery of Letterman's show and Obama's debut appearance, who exactly is this for? Millennials who turned out to catapult the 44th president to the White House a decade ago are presumably doing other things, like finally paying off their woman studies college debts, or staring blankly at fading hope and change posters in their parents' basements. George Clooney's popularity peaked around the time Ocean's Eleven came out, almost 20 years ago. Remember Howard Stern? Neither does anybody else. Hey, Jimmy Carter can come on next season to really add some excitement and relevancy to 2018. The country has moved on. With a booming economy and a new White House occupant who, let's face it, makes politics more fun than Animal House combined with the West Wing, Letterman, and Obama look downright boring in comparison. It wasn't that long ago that Republicans were dismissed as the party of retired voters with graying hair. Now, that is what Democrat mouthpieces like Dave and his guests have become. Press like and share on Facebook and Twitter if you think some people should just know when to quit.